Hello, and welcome back to the Hanged Man. Here with Ed. Hi, Ed. How you doing? Um, Was the notebook really here? Yeah. This guy's looking for a notebook. I'm looking been. for a rat. Maybe it was in some other room. I'll have to look around later. I mean, you could look around You're now. You're making a real mess there. I got hungry, so I've been eating. I think your friend wanted my leftovers. Can I have your leftovers? It's a hole. There used to be a hole here. There's also a hole in the wall. That one was always there. Um, crap. So, I'm kind of at a loss about where to go. Doesn't seem like there's just a random room. So looking in every single room every single time is probably not going to be worth our time. So... Like I said... Excuse me? Hello? There's a shadow over there. I guess there it is again. It sounds like someone's crying. Hello. Ooh, snacks. Empty can empty cans of juice. Yeah. Juice. Cabinet canes, old documents, trash cans, shelves, bookshelves, pile of old documents. Uh, what about the ones down here? Nothing. Won't open. No! Uh, excuse me? Why are your hands on my shoulders? Thank you! Will? Will? This is why I hate the dark because there's always something there there okay, in the well, dark Mom? yes it's nothing you think there's something in their bed don't you if you say so good night Out of your bed. Uh, excuse me. <gasps> that is their appropriate response. When it's night, the room goes dark. He always appears. He never says a word. He's just there. He must be a mime. How about that? I try to call for mom, but it's pointless. He disappears once the light comes on. Just who is he? Does he want me to does he want to tell me something? Is he my friend? Or is he a monster? I don't know. If he disappears when the light comes on, then this says something. You've got guts to take a nap here, kid. Uh, I kind of just collapsed, but you don't need to know that. You? What did you come here for? Did you find your rat? Just leave him. I'm sure he'll have a fine life out in the wild. Yeah. How about you give up and head home, Mr. William Morton? Uh. Huh? Why do you... Word of advice. When you run from home, don't bring your student ID. Even if you do hide it in your jacket. Wait, you, you son of a bitch! So what is it you skipped school and came all this way for? None of your fucking business, you creepy old man. How about this then? What kind of business do you have with David? Uh, what? I'm asking you what you want with David. Resident at 135 Womack Street. Will you stop going You're through my there. stuff! I'm his cousin! No, stop snooping already! 
one more thing. Are you receiving any threats? Of what? Huh? Receiving a threatening presence from you? Does that count? Demon child, huh? That's oh dear God, dude! With. Give that back! Answer my question. Or would you rather be lectured by a scary officer at the police station? Punch him in the nuts! I'm not being threatened. Are you sure about that, kid? I think. Huh? I said give it back! Why do you know David? Does he know you? Met him a while back. Now we go drinking sometimes. So what's your story? It's none of your business. Really? Well, go off and look for your rat. I will. You come with me. What? Huh? And why should I? He ran off because of you. Because I'm... Scared. Speak up, kid. Because I'm scared walking around here on my own. Who wouldn't be? Adult or child, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> you just laughed, didn't you? I'm not laughing. Liar. <laughs> oh, I'm the liar. Why would you be getting scared now? You were waltzing around here just fine earlier. Because Pop was with me. That's why I could still handle it. Eh? If Pop's there, I'm fine. If I listen to Pop, we'll always be okay. And now he knows that the rat talks. I should have known. I shouldn't have come here way out to this town and all this snow Pop tried to stop me he said I shouldn't but I kept insisting well he ain't no cricket but it seems like he is your better half you in your head kid if you really think your rat's talking to you you ought to visit a hospital I agree but she also shouldn't be an asshole in this situation if Pop doesn't doesn't come back what do I do so cold and I'm all alone what if what if what hey now don't cry you're 14 right can't go crying that easily and cry whatever fucking age you are I'm not crying probably healthier to do it listen this building's full of rats I've seen a bunch along the way does yours have any identifying features his right leg's bent there's a little fur missing on it. All right. If I catch him, I'll bring him to you. But don't get your hopes up. You can keep searching some, but be ready to give up if you don't find him. You're not staying here past nightfall. Got that? Yes, sir. You won't come with me? Do I look like I came here for a relaxing stroll? I'm busy with work. Oh, didn't Just, mean to cut that who off. Who are you? Yeah, who the fuck are you? I'm a detective. Oh, I couldn't tell, Mr. Detective. 20 questions on for a single time I beat you. And why are you here? That, my friend, is none of your business. And none of my business was any of your business, and yet here we are. Well, what's your name? Keith. Now get on your way. Pleasure to meet you, Keith. You didn't take my tarot card, did you? Nope, still got my card. What's this? A clutch bag. Maybe it's Keith's? Hmm. All the years you suffered. Those are the best years of your life. George Schmid. Hey, stop digging around in there. Hey, you dug around my shit. Don't threaten me. Is that photo yours? That's this building, right? Not mine. Is he hospitalized here? Although, I doubt I'll oh. give it back. Well, good to know. Hey, Keith. Did you unlock this door? Who knows? Must have been unlocked already. What do you mean, who knows? You know if you unlocked it or not, you dumb... Oh, my God. I'm trying to get that. A key. I got a key. Damn it. I'll get used to this one way the document room. Wonder if there's documents in there. Can I believe he's really a detective? 
What would a detective even be doing here? Maybe I should ask about it. You, he are, you already tried asking about it. Ah, fine. Um, hey, what kind of building is this anyway? A hospital? It was an old mental hospital. That's what I thought. It got shut down ages ago, though. After millionaire Jim Cork bought up the forest, Cork. it was repurposed as a homeless shelter for a few years. That's weird. A shelter? A place the homeless could call home. Was Better that than us, I guess. 15 years ago thing true? What was it about? Somebody kill, come in here and kill three homeless people? Sorry, I'm not really one to tell spooky stories to people liable to wet their pants. You know what? Maybe keep it to reality instead of trying to be all spooky and all that shit. This building's strange. There are these shadows or something. And locked doors opening up all of a sudden. Locked yeah. doors? Well, that'd be me. Except you said you didn't unlock that door. Huh? Unlike you, little trespasser, I have permission to be here. So I also borrowed some of the keys. Of course it's old. So lots have been lost to time. But still, there are these shadow things. They're moving all around. Just out of the corner of your eye. Oh yeah. Shadows everywhere. Because it's dark. And you're freaked out. So you think they're moving. I I don't mean to criticize, but I think a, be, a better line read would have been, wow, if I could talk, and yet I'm here criticizing. Oh yeah, shadows everywhere because it's dark and you're freaked out, so you think they're moving. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Asshole. I'm leaving. I have a key you don't. I think. It's locked from the other side. So that just comes out there. Okay. All right. So we have a documents room key. So I doubt it's going to be any of these cell floors. All right. Now to find out where this document key document room is. Document key room is. Yes. Yeah, so let's go with that. Honestly, don't know. Is there a door in staff lounging? Staff lounging? Staff lounge? Here. Why'd Pop have to leave me? He was a good eternal dialogue of all the things that I hoped and dreamed. Won't open. It's jammed. Won't budge. Locked. Here. This is what I was thinking of. There we go. Clickety click 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 click. Pop! Pop? Watch out for the chupacabra on the wall! Pop! Good, I found you. Jump down. Come on down, Pop. Let's go. This place is just... I mean, you see the chupacabra on the wall, right? You can't get down? Wait there. I'll get you down. Can you, like, come over there and grab this? There's something on the shelves. I can't reach it. Something on the ground. I can reach that. Tarot cards. That's a weird thing to find. Do they have the hanged man in here? They do. 12. Hangman is 12. A movable ladder. Well, then move the movable ladder. Hmm. Um, wait a minute. Uh, if I leave and come back in, it's back there. The, oh, I can go one more down. Well, that's the case, and I could have moved it all the way over here. I didn't realize that. Eh, how is it staying up right now? more up and I can't get it back over. Yep. Well that didn't work. Try it again. 
Maybe we just get it over to Pop and that's it. Jump down, Pop! Pop! Oh, that's it. Pop! God damn it, son of a bitch. Why did you run away, Pop? He's like being a little asshole. All right. Ooh, newspaper. The tragedy that befell the homeless. The happy murders. Yeah, happy is what I would think there. Are you familiar with a certain incident that occurred in the deep woods on the outskirts of Ma Marvel Hill? I don't know why I thought Mabel. Deepwoods Hospital, which once accommodated patients with mental illnesses, was abandoned in 1970 and long neglected. But it was later purchased, woods and all, by one Jim Cork, famous millionaire and philanthropist. Cork made us made use of the old hospital as a shelter for the homeless, calling in priests to open a chapel and running a social action program. Yet all this came to an end with the gruesome incident which would become would come to be called the Happy Murders. One winter day a priest in the chapel noticed something amiss with the shelter's residents. He attempted to question them as they kept suspiciously silent, and soon discovered five corpses in the building. The cause of death all differed from a stabbing to strangula strangulating, and they were also found in all different locations. Yet there was a common feature. The bodies were all in plain sight, hanging from a rope in the room. After police questioning, five among the residents confessed to murder. As to their motives, they gave various reasons, having an argument, or never liked the victim, but they spoke not a word about the bodies hanging from ropes. The police announced that the most recent corpse was the three days dead, and the oldest corpse had been dead for three weeks. Now you're noticing something bizarre, aren't you? In the three weeks since the first murder, four other murders took place, and the homeless residing in the shelter decided not to report them, but to go on pretending they didn't see anything. After the five criminals confessed and stated their motives, they all made the final comment. Now I've finally become happy. Cork have had the facility completely shut down, and the homeless living there all disappeared without ever speaking of what had happened. Deepwoods Hospital has been demolished, or has not been demolished nor renewed since the happy murders. It simply sits there quietly in the forest. What's this? Is this the incident from 15 years ago Keith mentioned? <laughs> Yikes. I shouldn't have read that. Me reading stuff like that only makes things worse. Got the tablet anyway! Yeah, taking it with me was probably a good idea. Pop, why are you running? Do you hate me now? I mean, do you have you not fed him, perhaps? Alright. Crap. I have tarot cards and a tabloid. The fuck am I supposed to do now? Thank you, self-opening door! That wasn't spooky at all! But at least I know where to go. Oh, oh dear god, this place has fallen into disrepair. There's a building map on the bulletin board. Take it! Oh dear god, there's a lot here. Take the map, just in case I need it. Watch where you're walking. Hey, potted plant. Something's on top of the flower pot. Uh, oh my god, it's a headless voodoo doll. A headless doll? Why is it headless? And there's this string tied around it, like it's being hung, or was hung at one point. Wait, is that hair? Uh, it can't be one string. Ah! <laughs> what does it take to get your attention? Are you just ignoring me? What do you mean? You just appeared behind me and scared me! So, you're Will, right? I don't have the wrong person, do I? Who wants to know? Oh, I'm glad I got it right. Okay, let's get going. You'll catch a cold. Wait, what? Stop! Stay away from me. A little presumptuous, isn't that? Y you're that cafe girl, aren't you? Why do you know me? And you stirred a hole for me earlier. I asked David. Ah. You're his cousin, aren't you? That's what I thought. Huh? You asked D David? I'm David's friend. He's worried. Friend. You know? Okay, let's head home. H hey, wait a sec. Yeah, this is still very presumptuous of you. 
I said wait! Let go, you stupid girl! Wow, that's rude, dude. Jeez, you're noisy. I'm just doing what I was asked, okay? What do you mean, asked? I explain yourself. Yeah, you can't just go in and grab somebody. Especially a kid. So, after I was done with work, I called David. I was like, I had a customer who looked just like you. Oh, genetic similarities, huh? That was his cousin, who came to visit. You really know how David, how David looks, don't you? So I decided to help him look. A truck driver near the freeway said he saw a boy head into the woods alone. So I wondered if he might have been here. Wow, you're going way out of your way for a friend. David's been super worried, so what were you thinking, visiting him and then disappearing? Oh, be quiet. I was going to go back eventually, but that isn't important right now. What's that mean? I got separated from my friend in there. I just, I can't leave until I find him. Huh, you came here with your friend? David didn't say anything like that. It's a rat, okay? All right, in that case, I'll help you look. Mmm, this is going to go well. Huh? R really? I mean, there's no way you can just ditch your friend. Let's get you reunited and leave quick, okay? If it starts snowing hard, getting back will be rough. Now, describe your friend. Oh, she's just going to come with me, and I'm not going to mention that I'm looking for a rat. Come with me, Sophie. Do you see the... The, the doll's gone. It's gone. What is? The, there was a doll here. But it's gone. Was there really? You weren't just seeing things? Seriously? You're doubting me? I really saw it. Jeez, no need to shout. You're a weird one. And you're an asshole. Immediately, doubt you ever saw anything. You must be crazy. Wow, thank you. A notice has been left on the board. Notice, Dr. Dennis Sy... Sinar? Sinar? Sure. Has taken a long vacation for recuperation purposes. Okay. A doll. There's a doll. We're not going to comment on the doll. There's another doll. Do you still doubt me? Huh? Anyways, now that we've passed that. Watch the, the holes in the floor. You been, never been in a boy's bathroom? That's toilet paper roll. Let's get out of here. Gross, 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 gross. God damn it. I'm gonna go with the girls' bathroom now. Tee hee hee. Nothing there. Sorry, we gotta look everywhere. My friend is very small. I like how she's just wordlessly following me. This is weird. Ooh, good. Um, a seat. That's a seat. That desk drawers. I thought that was a patient bed. This is weird, man. Counseling rooms. Counseling rooms. Looks the same. Uh. There's a floor, a hole in the floor, but beyond that, looks kind of the same. Somebody really doesn't want anybody to go to the basement. Not that I want to. Hey! Huh? Mr. Keith? And hey, you know Keith. Why are you here? Mr. Keith? Wait, what? Do you two know each other? Hmm, I guess. Why are you here, Mr. Keith? Bored? Again, why are you calling him Mr. Keith? Do you think I take my walks in places like this? It's for work, obviously. You're the one who needs to explain herself. David said he was looking for his cousin, so I'm helping. But said cousin says he got separated from his friend, uh -oh. so I thought I'd help him look. Nothing gets you to shy away, huh? I say you should just get out of here. Unless you two forget, this is a technically private property. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shelves, nothing on them. Get going. I'm telling you to your papa, Sophie. I I know, I know. How old is Sophie? She's working, so she can't be that young, right? I mean, I guess unless if they have American laws, unless she has a hey, work permit. What's your connection with Keith? He saved me when I got involved in an incident a little while ago. 
He's also my dad's client right now. Client? Papa's job covers things like inheritance, and I guess he wants to write a will and testament. A will and testament? He seems pretty young still. Old or not, people die. Yeah. I guess so. Hey, is he really a detective? He's kind of nasty and stern and scary. He's not a bad guy? Uh, being an asshole doesn't make you a bad or a good person. It just makes you an asshole. No, not a bad guy. Not a good one either, mind. Well, which is it? He's an asshole. There's an easy description for him. I mean, every time we meet, he always teases me. Like calling me matchstick or starving chicken. It's because you're too thin, lady. Gotta get some meat That's on them bones. Terrible. It's not necessarily terrible. It depends on how you deliver. Well, anyways, about that. <laughs> nursery. Nursery? Oh, yeah. This isn't creepy at all. This is a story. Another storybook. The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once there was a shepherd boy who had, a, had to look after a flock of sheep. One day he left bored and decided to play a trick on the villagers. He shouted, Help! Wolf! Wolf! The villagers heard his cries and rushed out of the village to help the shepherd boy. When they reached him, they asked, Where's the wolf? The shepherd boy laughed loudly. Ha ha ha! I fooled all of you! I was only playing a trick on you! A few days later, again, he cried, Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf! Again, the villagers rushed up the hill to help him, and again, they found that the boy had tricked them. They were very angry with him for being so naughty. Then, some time later, a wolf really went into the field. The wolf attacked one sheep, and then another, and another. The shepherd boy ran toward the village, shouting, Help! Help! Wolf! Help! Somebody! The villagers heard his cries, but they laughed because they thought it was just another trick. The boy ran to the nearest villager and said, A wolf is attacking the sheep. I lied before, but this time it's true. Finally, the villagers went to look. It was true. They could see the wolf running away and many dead sheep lying on the grass. And then they struck the boy. I mean, you shouldn't struck the boy, but God damn is he annoying. Machine you don't really understand. Isn't one of them like a computer or something? How does computer work? Is magic like magnets? Pediatrics. I thought it was a... I don't understand. I thought it was not a regular hospital. It was a mental hospital. Psychiatric hospital. There's some drawings that look like ch a child's. There's also writing on them. I guess they would be for young... Did, there's the wolves. Young children that are having mental problems, but normally they're, I don't know. It just seems like a lot of these machines are from regular hospitals. One day a shepherd boy saw a wolf meeting other wolves. They were talking about attacking the villagers and eating them. Jesus. But the boy said nothing to the villagers. Uh... A few days later, lots of wolves attacked the village. The wolves ate lots of the villagers. The boy watched the villagers being eaten and shouted, It serves you right! You wouldn't believe me, so you got punished! That's great! This kid has problems. There's a piece of paper on the desk. It's titled, A Conversation with Lisa Gardner. Kind of missing the point of the story. Sam. Lisa, could you tell us about your pictures? Is that the boy who cried wolf? Lisa, yes, that's right. It seems to have a different ending. Did you come up with that? Yes, that's right. Why did the boy let the villagers die? Because they didn't believe him. The boy was the one who lied. Isn't he the one who did something wrong? Grown-ups lie all the time, too. Yes, but one does not make the other right. And all the villagers died? No, four of them are still on the run. Whoa. What are they doing now? I don't know, but a wolf better eat them soon. Why should they be eaten? Once all the bad grown-ups are gone, we can go anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Um. 
that's going to take a little bit for me to recuperate from. So I'm going to leave it here. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boylag. Signing off.